This is Hannah Williams from Salary Transparent Street. We're in Toronto, Canada. Let's go ask some Canadians what they do and how much they make. This video is sponsored by Indeed. If you're in the job market and looking for jobs that list the salary range, you need Indeed. Find transparent jobs near you with Indeed at the link in the description below. I'm working as an account manager in the Ukrainian company. I recently moved to Canada and trying to find a job locally. Are you from Ukraine? Yes. Are you coming from the war? Yes. yes. Oh gosh. We all are actually. I'm a product manager at the Ukrainian pharmaceutical company and I'm also trying to find job here like product manager or something like this and I started my education here when I came last year to my daughters and we used indeed yeah, for was. this <laughs> but uh, it's not very easy to find here a good job even if you have good background in yeah. your own country I'm in communications and digital marketing I was very happy to land a good job here how much do you all make in your current job 2300 in Ukraine it can be 3000 I take home after taxes 3500 monthly after a recent promotion that's awesome yeah your promotion is the dinner <laughs> I love that. <laughs> what are your favorite parts of your jobs? I guess communication with different people yeah. in different cultures. And that's one of the reasons why I came to Canada as well. Because there is like multicultural environment here. Yeah. It's very exciting, okay. you know, to try my skills here as well. Yeah. So hopefully I will have a chance to do that soon. I think the same. I like to talk with people. And I work at pharmaceutical companies. So we try to do our life more healthy. Yeah. More beautiful so I like my job very much well it's very cross-functional so I used to work for example for NGO then for media then yeah. for political party then for educational organization uh -huh. and it's never the same communication services are needed different domains it's never boring I'm a tech entrepreneur I run a software company how much do you make I make around 100k and in a good year if the company does well I get more in bonuses about 150 is that how much your business makes or how much you take home how does that look it's based on how much the business make the business may, may make 300 but i pay myself a salary i've got our employees too so yeah. pretty much how did you get into this like what did you well, study I things started, like that i started out with having an idea about yeah. an app that could solve a problem in the gas sector so i was like okay why don't i try building this and i did it so that's how i started doing that do you like what you do what are the best and worst parts oh yeah i love it but being an entrepreneur has its own drawbacks you know you've got to be ready for the yes. heat because the times when you wake up and then you do not have you can't make salaries, you can't even do stuff. Yeah. It's not for everybody. What advice would you give for others interested in doing what you do? Get the right education first mm -hmm. and get some experience before yeah. you jump in. Yeah. So the experience that I worked for okay. a few banks and that helped sort of Got build my see. own corporate experience before I became yeah. a full-time entrepreneur. So mm -hmm. get that experience and uh, go for it. I'm a staff scientist. If you could describe what you do in one sentence, what would you say? I conduct experiments and do research to attempt to identify genetic variants in humans Very that are cool. associated with disease. How much do you make for that? Currently about 105000 Do you feel fairly compensated? I think so. What are the pros and cons of your job, the best and worst parts? The best parts is that it's a really great environment in terms of who I'm working with, very collaborative environment, get to teach students, kind of set my own hours, That's work at your cute. own pace, so it's great in that respect. Uh Cons. If I were doing very similar type of job in industry, I'd be mm. making a lot more money. What pieces of advice would you have for anyone interested in doing what you do? The educational proportion mm -hmm. of it takes a really long time, so understand that it's a really long process, mm -hmm. but for the most part, it's very worth it. I'm a freelance stylist and I work in film. Oh. Computer technology in the bank. How much do you make in your roles? It varies, but it can be up to 100 grand a yeah. year. Like, is it a best and worst month type situation yes, with it freelance? Is. It yeah. is. With freelancing, usually our summers are the strongest, and then okay. the winters get a little bit slow. About 100 grand it does yeah. pay yeah. and it's interesting to me not to everybody but it's interesting yeah. to me. what are the best and worst parts of your jobs I think the best parts are creating something out of nothing or yeah. just creating something out of a script I work in costumes specifically oh, in film cool. so making this character come alive just yeah. based off of some words I think that's the best part the worst part can be working with certain other people Ooh. because <laughs> it changes depending on the movie or show you're working that's who you work with so I think it's important to find your tribe and continue to work on with 
with them with shows. How is your work-life balance as well? I'm still figuring it out, but I think practicing a balance is really important. Working in film means we're working 12 hours Monday to Friday, which can be quite heavy. But once I'm off a contract, I do try to focus on my mental health and spending time with my family and friends. We're responsible for things that can run 24 hours. And when you get woken up at 3 o'clock in the morning, it can be very stressful, especially if it's something really important that's going to impact the clients it can be very stressful so working at three you have to be thinking like you're working nine to five you can't have brain fog so that is a lot of stress the The best best part part is when we create these cool things that you guys now take for granted that's on your phone (laughs) the banking app and all that we get to be a part of that and that's really cool like as far back as banking a check using your phone we're really proud of it i'm going to say we because it's a team you know but you get to do you get to see what's in the future and create what the customers want. What words of advice do you have for anyone interested in your industry? Get as much experience as you can. If it means you have to work for free and assist and intern, do that as much as you can. Find someone that can teach you the ropes and I think that would be the best to be successful in my industry. Going to school is a lot. It can be cool and fun when people talk about creating games, Mm -hmm. but you really have to know what you're trending towards. If you're not lockstep with that, you're not lockstep with the new technology, then you're kind of stuck doing a mundane job and it doesn't have to be that way. So continue to go to school, even if you have a degree, and to learn the new technology because there's a lot of new technology coming up. I'm a consultant. I'm a health economics and market access manager. How much do you make in your role? 83 and a half. Around 150 to 160K. I think my base is around 130K. I get around $10,000 in a car allowance, around $5,000 a year in stock, and around $15,000 a year in a target bonuses, annual bonuses. Do you feel fairly compensated? Yeah. I feel very fairly compensated. How did you get into your roles? I actually was in school for science for a while, and I worked in healthcare, and then I did my MBA, okay. and then switched to business. Nice. I did my undergraduate in health science and then I did combined science and business masters and then I did an internship with my current company and I've stayed with them since the entire time. What are the pros and cons of your job? Best and worst parts? Best parts I guess is travel benefits and just like in exposure to like several different industries and organizations and people. Cons is sometimes the travel is exhausting and it's hard to have like pets or like partners sometimes. I mean I don't have pets but I can see how. (laughs) I also travel a lot for work also but that's my favorite part of the job. I go around the U.S. a lot and I just love you know meeting in the different cities in the U.S. I guess the only cons is, you know, it is a bit demanding, but I think the pros outweigh the cons. What w- words of advice would you have for anyone interested in your roles? What have you learned so far? For undergraduate science students, I think there's not a lot of transparency in what kind of careers and jobs that are out there. If you ask like most undergraduate science students, they're either going to want to become a doctor or they're going to become a professor. But there are so many jobs out there that also pay well in the you know scientific industry and in the private industry. I would just say try to network, try to go to expos and career fairs, kind of get an understanding what else is out there because there's so much more out there that the school doesn't do a great job of exposing us to. I would say soft skills are super underrated. Just make sure you can have good personality and the hard skills will come along the way. I'm a communications professional. How much do you make? I make between 70 to 75k. Do you feel fairly compensated? I do, yeah. How'd you get into it? So I got the job about a year and a half ago and I used to work in journalism and I was trying to find a career that would kind of match what I was doing. So I was doing a lot of writing and journalism and I was Uh trying to find a communications role that matched that. So so yeah, I made the transition. Journalism's a little unstable. There's a lot of freelance, there's a lot of contract work, there's not a lot of full-time work. So I was looking for full-time work and yeah. communications was kind of the easy transition. What are some of the pros and cons, best and worst parts? So I still get to do a lot of writing. I still interview people oh, in, in my role. Like yeah, I love those parts of my job. Honestly, like I can't think of a con off the top of my head. Yeah. Like it's a great work environment. I have really good colleagues. I have a really understanding boss, which yeah. is nice. What about work-life balance? It's good. It's better than it was in journalism. That's kind of what I was like seeing when I was making the transition is in journalism you work long hours you work shift work especially if you're doing working in daily news your life is a little unpredictable yeah and like tied to your work a lot so I was just looking for a transition to like something with a little bit more work-life balance which I found in communication what would you share with anyone interested in your career like things you would share with them that you wish you had known before getting in as well I would honestly say networking it's like the key to finding my jobs in journalism and also finding my job in communication just like getting out there sending emails to people asking them if they could hop on the phone with you for like some
some advice or taking them out for a coffee. And networking is key. I work in public accounting. I am a senior account executive for a healthcare staffing firm. How much do you make doing what you do? I make $95,000. You feel fairly compensated? I do for my current role. I make $83,000 plus 5% commission. You feel fairly compensated? Yes, I do. How did you get into it? For me, I kind of knew going into college that I wanted to do accounting. Kind of boring. Side. A little bit, yeah, exactly. But after college, just kind of wanted to go the public route and yeah. just have enjoyed it ever since. I majored in public health. I was doing something that I wasn't super passionate about during COVID. I kind of wanted to make a change. Somebody told me that I would be good at recruiting and I just went for it. What are some of the pros and cons of your job? That's the worst part. Pros, I work around a lot of cool people. I enjoy what I do. Cons, work-life balance, a lot of hours, especially January through March. But overall, it's been a great experience. The cons, definitely same work-life balance. I'm dealing with travel nurses, so it's their lives. I need to make sure I'm available around the clock. Yeah. If something goes wrong, pros, I get to help people who, you know, make lives better for others. So yeah, it's really rewarding. How do you feel about pay transparency? I feel very passionate about it. My company was very upfront about the pay at first when I was applying to the job, and I really appreciated that. Any words of advice for people interested in your industry or just general advice you've learned over the years? I think just for me, just when you're going through the recruiting process, just talking to as many people as possible. Really, the reason why I started with the firm that I'm at is just the connections that I made. And if I wouldn't have made those, there's no way I would be kind of where I am today. Yeah. If you're kind of lost and you don't really know what kind of direction you want to go professionally, I would definitely recommend healthcare recruiting. You don't really need any experience at all and just go for it. It's something different, but it really changed my life. I'm an educational clinician, but I just started. You're also a student? Yeah, I'm also a student. I'm also a student, but I work in a middle elementary school and then my student union in the university. How much do you make in your job? Right now, I'm doing training and it's $19 an hour. Right now, I make minimum wage mm -hmm. in both my jobs. What is minimum wage in Canada? I believe right now it's fifteen fifty. Do you feel fairly compensated in your roles? Well, I did work part-time yeah. in a minimum wage job. And Honestly, I think so. I don't, to be honest. In one of my jobs, I'm taking care of kids all day. I feel like that's worth it more. Teachers deserve more. And in the other job, I guess it's a university part-time job, so it's fair. But no. I think minimum wage needs to increase. I'm also supported by my dad right now. So maybe if I wasn't, then definitely not. But if I had to do it myself, then no. How did you get into your roles? Like, is it what you're studying? Yeah. Things like that? I'm doing psychology, so I think that it helped me get this job now. And basically same. I'm in child and youth care, so yeah. it kind of lines up perfectly. What are your goals after graduation? What kind of jobs do you want to do? How much do you want to make? I think I want to be a child therapist. And then I'm still trying to figure that out, but yeah. foster care, social work, adoption route. That's I know fun. they don't make a lot of money, so I'm not expecting the highest amount, but I would love to make six figures too. <laughs> Any advice for students based on what you've learned now? Don't stop searching because yeah. it can be a bit like disappointing when yeah. you try really hard and apply and never hear back but there's always somewhere that'll get you they want you apply 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 <laughs> same thing and just get a job even if it's a little yeah. job like that can grow into something else yeah. it's just experience. good to get experience and yeah, start making so money much. I'm an intern, so I do influencer outreach oh, wow. and TikTok and Instagram for a 10-person company based out of Toronto. We make menstrual cups. How much do you make? I make minimum wage, yeah. so fifteen fifty an hour. Nice. Right now, I'm part-time for another two weeks, mm -hmm. but starting June, I'll be full-time. What's your favorite thing about the job? I like, honestly, the social media aspect. Yeah. I like the social aspect. Mm -hmm. I love working with other women. It's Any words fun. of advice for others interested in social media, what you've learned so far? Yeah, if you're interested in social media, yeah, like definitely do it. do it. There's money to be made. I currently work at a dental assistant at a uh -huh. practice up in North York and mm -hmm. it's been really fun. How much do you make doing that? I make $17 an hour. Do you feel fairly compensated? I do since I'm technically not certified in Canada mm -hmm. so I'll take what I can get. <laughs> How did you get into this? Like did you need a certification? Yeah. What's the step? So I actually go to school at Ohio State and there I work as a dental assistant in oral surgery practice yeah. and I came back here to be with my parents over the summer mm -hmm. and got a minimum wage job and here it is. What are the best and worst parts of the job? The best is the people. You definitely get to meet a lot of patients, have the patient interaction and the worst part Part is you start at like 7 a.m. and finish at like 8 p.m. so it's a bit much but I love it. Any advice for others interested in doing this? What have you learned in your career so far that you would share? Reach out and talk yeah. to doctors and literally just network with anyone you can meet because yeah. sometimes even if you don't have the qualifications they'll give you a job. I work in student services. I was a teacher before COVID. I switched to creating through the pandemic and then I got into student services post-pandemic. How much do you make with student services and then with this? I make about 
30 grand a year Canadian dollars <laughs> it goes up and down but yeah I bet that this is the best season like summer spring is really good for pop-up we're, we're just getting started everything helps to like transform and I've noticed that working full-time has helped me to put more into my business yeah. and help it expand more creating multiple streams of income what are the best and worst parts of both your jobs I love creating different things yeah. it's very time-consuming so I feel like I'm always working yeah, you yeah, spend sure. the day at the office and you go home and you make things and you're like oh my gosh any words of advice for others who also want to start their own business or get into student services. It's all about believing in yourself. So be kind to yourself and keep going and you always know what's right for you in your heart. Use your ideas, your passions, and your experience to get you where you want to go. I work in corporate finance. How much do you make? I make 70000 Do you feel fairly compensated? Yeah, I would yeah. say so. <laughs> what are some of the best and worst parts of your job? So I actually just started this job two months ago. Oh. I guess the worst part about it is the learning curve. It takes forever to learn. And then yeah. the best part is the people, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I work with good people. What are some of the things you've learned in this career field that you would share with others, like maybe new graduates going into finance? Any words of advice? I would just say be super patient. It takes a lot to learn and just keep working at it. The patience is probably the biggest learning thing I've learned so far, yeah. but again, it's only Two months, so. What is something that money has not been able to buy you yet? I definitely will learn really quickly that money cannot buy happiness. Money can make you like comfortable, but happiness is definitely like something that comes from within. Money's not gonna get you a boyfriend or a girlfriend, so. A bigger house. I'm like thinking about upsizing and I don't think I can. Like self-reflection, honestly. I had to sit down and like self-reflect about where I am and stuff and yeah. money couldn't have bought that. I think it's just overall happiness. My friends and my family is what truly brings me happiness and keeps me going. Personal time and getting to spend time with my daughter like today.